Hi everybody, it's Sean Casey. Welcome to another Webfire Wednesday training webinar. We uh, are all fired up and ready to roll with some great information for you. Um, I, just a quick question, did, did any of you guys have trouble getting on? Because I, I think it, from the way people are trying to get on, it looks like some people uh, had issues. Nope, you guys are like, oh, oh good, okay, great. Great, it was easy for you, okay. Just curious why we had uh, a couple people that said it was they had trouble getting on. I didn't know if it was a go to webinar thing or just a life thing that sometimes happens. Okay, great. All right, hey, glad you all are here, and uh, we're going to get rolling and uh, do some uh, real fun stuff. That uh, for those of you that haven't seen us do this before, um, you're going to absolutely love this process. You're going to learn a tremendous amount from this. Um, as we look at and analyze websites, both using WebFire and uh, putting some stuff together and uh, making sense of everything. All right, so um, we're here at the training webinar. Brian won't be with us today. He's uh, on an airplane flying back from Australia. Um, so much as I tried to convince him that he really should you know, skip flying back just to be on the webinar, he said, no, it would be better to actually get home. So we're good. All right. Every Wednesday, you probably know this by now, but we're here, 2 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. GMT right now. Uh, we'll host live training or Q&A for our members, depending upon what we're doing. Um, those are either always going to feature me, Brian, both of us, or sometimes a special guest. Next Wednesday, we have a really cool special guest that she's going to share a lot of really good information for me, for you uh, on some unique things she's doing that are that are simple to do, but... Uh, could be a real good adjunct to some stuff that you're looking to do. Um, so when we find somebody that we think adds value, we're going to share that with you. Uh, but normally, in most of the presentations are Brian and me. Uh, if you're here and registered, you're going to get a reminder each week. But please, you know, archive. Uh, I'm sorry, we're going to archive the recording and say uh, mark it on your calendar so you know that when you're supposed to show up and you make sure you show up. Uh, but we will always have the recordings in the members area within a day so that you're able to access those and you'll be able to do it. Okay, somebody said it's 6 a.m. Thursday where you are now. So you are, clearly are on the other side of the world uh, from me. So uh, these calls are going to be a good opportunity for you to get more training, ask strategy questions, get feedback, make suggestions, all that kind of stuff. Um, and a lot of times uh, because we have so many trainings and, and things and they are all listed by topic in the members area, you'll be like, hey, why don't you guys ever talk about this? And it will be something we talked about you know, a month or two ago, but but when you didn't get a chance to catch, so always be sure to look at that. But if you've got suggestions, feel free to send them to us, and be sure to join our Webfire Facebook group. If you have not joined, you can join the group uh, on Facebook. Uh, when you guys go to join, uh, it it'll tell you that you have to apply to be a member, and and we'll we know during the webinar there's always a bunch of people joining. We'll get you approved and get you in, and we'll be giving away money there later on on this webinar, so you definitely want to be a member of the group, because if you don't join for free, you can't win for free. And always, if you need help, you can email us, or you can use the support help de desk link inside of Webfire, which is always good. If you ever say, man, I keep sending support emails and nobody responds, if we got them, we responded, because those actually get archived in our help desk, but if you ever have that issue where you're like, no one's paying attention, use the help desk link inside of Webfire, because we're actually on the ball every single day, um, you're just not getting the emails back, okay? All right, and then our three rules to success, very simple, follow the steps in training. Do this and it will work. Uh, don't give up, seek help when you need it, but a lot of times we get people who like send us questions that literally, like if you went to Google, you can have the answer in 13 seconds because they're general like, how do I set up a WordPress blog, okay? and and you're holding yourself back and making your life harder by not just grabbing the answers. And no whining or negative attitudes. Um, it's the quickest way to fail is to, is to quit on yourself or to, to you know, just get all whiny. So don't do that because life's too short to be whiny. All right, so let's go on to the training. And this training is all going to be live on the web. Um, and so hang on a second. Let's see if we can switch to where we are live on the web. And um, you can see I've got a whole bunch of tabs open. I'm never going to be able to do detail on all of these websites, but I've grabbed at least a couple of them. We're, we're going to get in detail, and I'll try to do quick reviews on the other ones. But this first one is called um, Cambridge 
laptoprepair.co.uk. If you're ever in Cambridge, you should visit Cambridge in the UK someday because it's a wonderful city. Um, and this is a real interesting site, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, do a site analysis on this inside of WebFire. So I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to go to WebFire. Look, it's here. Um, I'm all organized. This is so exciting when it, things work and you're trying to do stuff live. Okay, so we're going to go in under SEO and keywords to analysis. And it's the same thing you would be doing for your website or a client's website. First of all, I'll put the URL over here before I forget what it is. Okay, and in this case, we're going to assume, based upon the title, that we're going to want to optimize this home page, at least for Cambridge Laptop Repair. And then we're going to let the analysis run, and we're going to let that process, and we're going to go back over here to uh, Cambridge Laptop Repair to the site. Okay, so... As you look at this, here's what you want to do when you're analyzing a site. You take a look at this site and you say to yourself, all right, so what's the first thing that I see that draws me in and you know that's what my visitors are going to see, all right, is the first thing, okay? And in this case, it's obviously the big screen at the top of the page with the images that flip through and if someone typed in capital letters, you see virus, okay? but doesn't actually tell you what we're you know doing with virus okay like a headline that would say um, you know got a virus we've got the cure um, you know so we've got a virus we can fix that we can clean up your computer right I mean it just says virus okay? and then this which is a relatively good headline get a price for your repair now points to the thing tells you what to do um, this screenshot of a storefront that tells a lot of different things that they do isn't bad and also makes it um, pretty obvious that they have a real store, so this is a real business. Okay. Um, another good thing that they have is um, right here, you can see all these different brand names that they are um, able to work for, and brand names, when they're legitimately used, are always a good thing because they add um, authority, and credibility to a site. Okay. Um, now, but as you look at this, and, and this is a really typical kind of website that gets built now by website designers, they love having these big images at the top of the page. Now, a couple things about this. One is they take up half the page, and, and you always want to think of your website as what we call above the fold. Okay, so above the fold, is the old newspaper jargon, because newspapers get folded in half, right? So if you remember the last time you actually saw a newspaper, when it's folded in half, whatever's above the fold, on the front page above the fold is what people say. And it's the headlines and, and, and things that draw people in or people don't even pay attention to, right? So this is your first and only shot at getting somebody's um, attention on the web page to be able to get them to pay attention to what you're doing or what you want them to do or that you have the information that they're looking for. Now, we have a clearly defined business model here in that this company repairs laptops and they repair iPads. Um, I know this because I, I scrolled through the site real quick. Okay? So we know what they do. We know what people have a problem. This, these guys have the solution uh, both locally and they can also do it from all over the, the UK. Um, they said they have a national client base, okay. So they, they, you know, very clearly defined audience and that we know we're going for and that we want to get. And um, we'll talk about that more in a minute, but let's go see if our analysis finished. And it did, look. Okay, so this is uh, the analysis, and if you've never run an analysis on your own site or on another site, you can literally run it on any site. As you can see, you don't have to own the site to run an analysis or get permission because, you know, I, I mean, technically I got permission because the person who owns this told me to run it, but I mean, you could just go do this on any site. And we ran this. So, you know, we I, I said that it was going to be Cambridge, Cambridge Laptop Repair was going to be what they were trying to optimize for, but right here, this is actually what their title tag is okay, that the home page is optimized for. Now, that's, I'm not going to tell you that's good or bad because they're trying to uh, rank nationally, and, and I don't know how well they rank 
um, for anything. Uh, so I can't tell you that that's a bad thing. If they're really more to be more focused on Cambridge, then you'd want to focus on that. But we'll talk about this being a local business, more about how we want to try to focus certain things um, in, in a minute when we go back and look at the actual site. Um, but it's really common, especially for a business where we know people are looking for um, to uh, search for or have uh, a couple different terms in here, especially on the home page, right? So laptop repairs or replacement laptop screen for Acer, Dell, HP, et cetera. Um, and whoever sent this in, um, and I know that except I gotta go find it, but if you're here, just let me know you're actually here. Um, you know, yeah, that's a good question. Well, I did run the analysis for the US, that's a good question, I did. Um, mostly just because I generically want to know what it, it said, but I'm not trying to figure out how well it ranks um, in and of itself. So that's not a problem. Um, but so I can stop talking about this person generically. If I could go find, and I printed out all these things. I'm just trying to flip through all my pages of all the stuff that you guys sent in because we have a lot of members who sent a lot of stuff. Here we go. All right, Brett Matthews. Okay, so Brett, this is your site. All right, great. Hopefully you're here. Okay. All right, Jing said just signed up, first time logging in. Okay, great, welcome. All right, so on this um, particular site, um, you can see that, you know, this is a keyword that this person is going after, this replacement laptop screen. Okay. Now. That might be a huge part of their business. And if it is, then it's a good thing to go after. If it's not, and it's just you know a generic random thing that someone decided to put as the title tag, then it's not a good thing to focus on. Okay? Um, so one of the things when, when you're analyzing a site is, you know, why, why is this here? Uh, clearly, this could be like the most profitable thing they're trying to do in their business, or this could be, you know, they get a lot of people searching for this, and they have a good rep for replacing laptop screens, right? Okay. Um, you know, they don't have a meta keyword tag. Okay. In, inside of this, um, there isn't a meta keyword tag. Not that, you know, we're in it, but there were literally none found. So that should get updated. Okay. Now, in the meta description, it says they don't have the keyword. Now, the, you know, our system, it's a computer, so it's very literal. So if you type in Cambridge laptop repair, even though right here they have laptop repairs in Cambridge, Okay, which the search engines would read somewhat as the same thing. You know, if, if you type in Cambridge laptop repair, the system is always going to look for exactly what you typed in. Okay, um, you know, and then their description is uh, Cambridge laptop repairs. Let's see if we make this slightly bigger without getting it, so I can't read it. Free quotes, uh, all faults fixed. Free quotes, laptop screen and motherboard repairs, any make, any model. Okay, um, so. You know, there, there are some things there um, that can work, uh, and, and we want to we wanna analyze some other pages here in a minute. Um, oh, you don't have the keyword and a heading tag. Um, heading tags are really important, and there's, there's the, hang on, I've got to shrink this down one second here. I got my GoToWebinar widget is in the way, so I can't move stuff around. But over here are, are all the fix buttons, right? So you can click, and it'll walk you through fixing um, any of these things that you have issues with. I'm, I'm not going to go through that because we could be here for days and, and you can do that separately. Um, but we also have, uh-oh, the keyword density is lower than the optimal range uh, because, again, we're looking to optimize a page for a specific keyword. Okay, We do have a site map. And look, we have schema markup. Okay, so that's good. That's in there. Um, uh, technical performance is poor, which probably means that it's simply a slightly slower loading than it needs to be. And under images, you have a number of images on your site without alt tags, 14, okay, um, 17 of them you have with alt tags, okay, and, and you know, we could look at, uh, you know, the details on that, and you can see a lot of these images, see, you know, this, this one is with a phone number, but you can certainly see this is the iStock um, name for this, you know, the virus, missing alt keyword. Right, you can see what these are, but this is a good name. See, laptop screen replacement. Okay, all right. You know, laptop motherboard repair. See, these are good image names, right? Because they're 
re-emphasizing what the site is about. It's also possible, depending upon what your site is about, that those images uh, can get not only indexed inside of Google, but actually rank if someone is looking for that kind of thing, all right, um, and explain, you know, more about what people are actually looking for, um, all right. So if we do that, we go to the off-page factors, okay. So they have backlinks. They have more backlinks than the medium, um, uh, so they, they can... Um, uh, you know, look to actually increase the number of backlinks, of course, but that's good. Um, sites listed on Demos, sites listed on Alexa, so that's good. Um, it, it doesn't matter if it's not. Um, and really, uh, for local business, that ranking and, and that analysis is, is not uh, crucial. Uh, when it comes to social, um, we didn't find a lot of people mention this on Facebook or Twitter. Um, we did find people who would one, plus one your site on Google+, Plus, so that's great. Um, you could obviously use uh, more of a local presence, and then when it comes to keywords in this analysis, um, you're going to find uh, a lot of different uh, keywords here. Again, we searched for a really specific local term, Cambridge Laptop Repair. All right, so there's only people, so many people that search for that. Now they're really valuable because they obviously have a laptop they need to get repaired in Cambridge or near Cambridge. So that's going to be, be you know, a, a really valuable search term. Um, you can see, like, more people type Cambridge Laptop Repair than Computer, than Laptop Repair Cambridge. Uh, and you can see the exact monthly searches um, from these. Um, and then, you know, if you come down and, and see, search different things, you know, like Computer Repair London gets a lot more searches. Um, so we, we've just got some different keywords, but, uh, you know, your first and foremost thing if you're going to be a local business is to rank for local keywords, right? All right, so let's jump back to actually looking at the website um, so we can have all that. All right, somebody asked, um, all right, are all caps keywords okay or should they be small caps? Well, you, you mean small and large? Yes, yeah, small and large are generally, um, if nothing else, easier for people when they see them to read uh, than it's like people are shouting at them. Um, and so, things here. All right. So somebody asked, surely the keyword choice is key, and it is. And then asked, wouldn't fixed laptop be better? Well, it's not better, it's different. And so what the things you want to analyze, and, and that's where you use the keyword tool, is what are the terms that people most commonly use to, to look for the problem you're trying to solve? All right, and, and, and I don't know the answer to it. Do people search more, you know, laptop repair or fixed laptop? I, I don't know the answer to that, but you would want to search and find out the answer to that. But the longer answer to that is you actually want to answer all of those, okay? Because you want to have, have pages for that can rank for all of this stuff. Uh, one of the things that everyone thinks of initially when it comes to analyzing a website is, you all think, because this is just common, I mean, this is not, not a criticism, that this URL, the website, is what you're ranking for all the keywords. But that's not true. You're really trying to rank the website, which is really the home page, for a specific main keyword or get people interested in you know, get or get the search engines to understand this website is about X, laptop and iPad repairs. Okay. But we could have individual pages that rank for specific terms, and then uh, we have the chance to rank lots and lots and lots of pages along the way. Um, uh, and interesting enough, let's jump back here because I have too many tabs open in here, but um, let's go to if this will let me do this, google.co.uk, and let's search Cambridge Laptop Repair. All right, and so good news, our customer site ranks at the top, okay? even searching from the U.S., because I went and searched in, in google.co.uk, right? And you can see how the schema worked to come up. So their contact information, the repair process, see their reviews, right, all these page headings. And if we go back here, 
So you'll see these page headings, contact us, book your repair, see our reviews, see how these all get picked up and brought into here, and then, you know, shot of their store, okay, um, their information, they're closed now because it's 722 in Cambridge, all right, the reviews are pulled in, right, so awesome, awesome job, I mean, you know, we were just talking about, you know, how well does it really rank, so there's the answer is how well it ranks. So now the next thing um, we want to do, though, is look at the site and say, okay, it ranks, somebody shows up, what do they see when they show up? Now, I have a whole bunch of suggestions for you, um, and some of these may or may not be um, helpful and brilliant, but certainly things to consider. Okay? Now, you, right here, um, we, we find out that you know, we can do other things. We can repair a screen, we can fix an iPad, the laptop won't turn on, and, and you know, we could probably fix that. And you can see when I mouse over these things how it, the laptop screen replaced it, these are the well-named images, okay? And if I click on this, okay, it will open up a page that's all about laptop screen uh, replacement experts. Okay? And this tab up here has the title of, you probably can't read it, but it says Laptop Screen Replacement, Laptop Screen Repair, Cambridge. Okay, so this is a good page just on the face of it, but we could analyze this page, for example, um, for laptop screen replacement or repair, but, but they, they have made a page specifically on another search term that somebody would use, right, that wants to get a laptop screen replaced or a laptop screen repaired. Okay. I'm guessing fairly expensive, good profit item that a lot of people have the problem, right? You break your screen, the laptop's not much fun anymore, right? So they've now made a page to optimize and rank for this um, in Cambridge. Uh, and let's, let's be real adventurous. Top screen repair. And see what comes up, okay? And, and all the map comes up on the top, and this is them in the map. This is also them that shows up. Uh, now, I want you to notice what happens when you rank a bunch of pages. Okay, You guys can go repeat. So, but, but look, they're number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number five. Okay, so they only have the top five slots. Okay, If you own the top five slots in Google, is that a good thing? Yes or no? Yes, absolutely, right? I mean, so this is what happens. This is why you, you create multiple pages focused on specific things because, you know, their, their contact page because they specialize in screen replacement, okay? And they specialize in it lists on their services page and all these pages are showing up, okay? And this is, this is why, you know, they, they've done a, a good job in getting ranked for specific things. Now, when you come up here, okay, all of these pages that they have, you know, iPad repairs Cambridge, iPhone repairs in Cambridge, Samsung screen repairs, okay, laptop motherboard repair, laptop parasocker, these are all good pages that they've made to rank for the specific items that they need to be able to do, okay. Um, you know, here's, you know, laptop liquid spills, okay, um, because, you know, I, I'd probably find a different keyword, although maybe people actually search that, um, but um, this is going to, you're going to want to use the terms that people actually search for this, and, and that might be it. I, I truly don't know the answer to, you know, dumped coffee in my laptop, what do I do kind of a thing. Um, and they, they even give you some ideas as, as to what to do, but if it doesn't work, then you know here's you know we can we can go ahead and fix that, all right, um, and so you know there there's a lot of um, good ideas here. If anything, what you want to do now is actually do more of this, okay? Because are there more search terms that would relate to laptop and iPad repairs? And I don't know if they do iPhone repairs or not, but your obvious answer would be yes. There's a whole bunch, right? Okay, um, 
you could definitely go and add more and more and more pages, whether or not they're listed underneath the services, okay, that people can, people would be searching for, you know, particularly, obviously, in Cambridge, they rank really well. So you would want to rank for everything possible. And then what you'd want to do, uh, if you're, if you're going to bring people in from surrounding areas, is, is start to uh, work to at least rank the bigger terms for pages that are close to, for, for municipalities that are close to Cambridge, that are, you know, bigger cities. You know, like, so I live outside of Atlanta, Georgia, which in our metroplex we have six million people, okay? Most of which, like, I don't even know that there's a million people that actually live within the city of Atlanta. I live 30 miles from downtown Atlanta in a big, air, big city, well, relatively big city, but I mean, you know, we have two area codes. We cover so much, you know, square mileage. And so there are a lot of areas around Atlanta uh, that you can optimize because I would never search Atlanta laptop repair. I would search Duluth, Georgia laptop repair because I don't want to drive all the way to Atlanta. I want to find somebody around me, right? Because people search locally and Google polls results locally um, as well, right, and on that basis. So I want to do that. Okay, they do have, you know, people, they have a page with reviews. Um, they've got a blog, which is also a, a good place to uh, be posting up um, uh, lots of articles that are specific. And you can see laptop screen replacement. All right. Uh, if you also notice, hang on, let me, let me go back to services, that at least for some of these, we actually have videos that go along with them. Well, at least for one of them, we had videos. Laptop screen replacement. Yeah, so this one, he actually had a video um, showing laptop screen replacement that's up on Vimeo. I don't know if it's um, if he's got that up on YouTube as well or not, but you'd want to put that up on on, on YouTube uh, because if you're going to make videos, you want to go up and you want to you want to take those videos, even this quick video, and post it up on YouTube. I, an absolute ton of people. Um, search for information and they want to see videos about things um, related to um, this. Now see, I searched Cambridge, but um, I'm not sure what happens. I'm, I'm, staying, I'm staying in the in the UK here. But see, if I just get off out of Cambridge and, and you know, what do I find? PC World, how to replace a broken laptop screen, but right down below, I find a YouTube video, right, that's all about how to um, uh, you know, how to replace a broken screen, right? Now, if you are the guy who's got that video, you can bet, presumably, that somebody underneath here, um, that my buddy Frank Kern pointing at me, uh, all right, down below, see, he's got literally, you know, first of all, 455,000 views, right? So a lot of people not only search this, a lot of people watch this video. Okay. Now, he talks about how it's fairly scribble, blah, 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 blah. What's funny is that underneath this, how many people can see the affiliate link even or the link to his website? Do you guys see that, how this guy's making money from this video? Anybody see any way this guy is making money from this video? People are typing no. This wasn't a trick question because there actually is... Um, doing that um, so you got you got to love this right i mean right now no 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 how to in style is the is the youtube category youtube channel okay that that's not making him any money so if you're going to make a video and get 455,000 views you ought to make money at least link to you know a site where they could that you'd be an affiliate for them to actually buy a physical laptop or send them to get Right? I mean, seriously. Okay? Um, you want to be able to do that. Well, no, this is Chuck's channel up here. Okay? All right? 3748, I mean, that's great. But seriously, 455,000 views, put affiliate links in, link to your website, do something. Right? Okay? Um, because people look underneath, they see what's going on, they want to find out what's going on, and be able to um, do something. You know, whether or not 
hang on, I could skip the video in two seconds. Somebody said, oh, it's probably at the end of the video. So let me hang on, let me get rid of Frank. Okay, so let's go all the way to the end of the video. And let's see, because now, now I'm really curious. All right, so now we could go to his website. I mean, but seriously, do, do you really want to... Sorry, my, my computer is fighting with me here, right? Do you really want to bet... Uh, the the Frank Kern is an ad. It's a pre-roll ad on on YouTube. That's why Frank's video is that. That's it. Okay. All right. This is the actual how to repair a laptop screen. But it, but you can't wait and hope that everyone watches nine minutes of video to see your website. Okay. Seriously. Okay. Because maybe they watch the first minute or two. They're like, holy crap. There's no way I can do this myself. I need to find an expert. So if nothing else, underneath you could write, hey. If you don't want to do this yourself, we recommend Jimmy Omer at Cambridge Laptop Repair. You can send your laptop in from all of the UK. Awesome service. Tell them, tell them Chuck sent you, right? Seriously, okay? You, can, you want to make sure you, you use your videos to monetize them, to drive people to your site, to backlink to your site, all right? You know, now, this guy managed to get 455,000 views, but I could make him more money, okay? All right, so... This, that's not why we're here. I just want to point out that, that not only do videos rank well for this kind of stuff, they get a lot of views, but you, there's some other stuff you can do with them, right? All right, so back to the website. All right, so obviously they've done a lot of great things, but you can always do more. One of the questions we got from some people um, you, 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 where we get a lot from people that are like, well, I'm trying to help a local business and they rank well. Well, so what do they rank well for? All right. How many of you think you could find a hundred search terms, okay, that you could rank for iPad repair, computer repair, laptop repair, laptop replacement, right? You can find a hundred terms, right? And so you could take a, a site like this that's doing well, and you could help it do even better because you can make sure that whatever the terminology is that somebody uses, you can help it rank. And if you wanted to expand it into other cities, other municipalities, where you're ranking it for, I don't, it's been a while since I've been in Cambridge, so I can't tell you what, what cities are around there. But, you know, there are obviously people around there that, you know, are looking for repairs or, you know, maybe they, they live, you know, outside of the city, but they come into the city on a regular basis and would bring their laptop in to get fixed, right? There's a lot of ways that you could then add dozens and dozens of pages to this website to rank. Now. One thing in particular that I, that I have an issue with, or suggestion for, not an issue with, is this, okay? Get a price for your repair, okay? Now, obviously, you, this is not a situation where you can figure out what screen they've got on their laptop and randomly give them a price, okay? But as consumers, one of the things that we're always looking at is, you know, how much does it, is it going to cost us before I give a guy my email address and phone number so that guy can bug me, right? All right. Even though it's like, okay, the laptop's broken and I need help. So we can't solve that problem for laptops because they're too diverse. But for um, the iPad stuff, okay, I would um, certainly consider posting up the cost to fix um, the screens and things for the the iPad, whatever the common things are, because there's only so many iPad models. So you could you could literally just list them out. You know, if you need this for an iPad, this for an iPad, this for an iPad. I mean, some of them obviously might need analysis uh, as to as to what's really wrong. But um, some a lot of this these things are probably you know standard charges. You know, you have an iPad with a Retina display, right? And so this it needs this kind of glass to replace on it, okay? And so it costs this much or whatever, right? So one of the things to consider would be, you know, where we can make it easy for someone looking to look at it and go, oh, okay, it's going to cost this much. Let me get hooked up with this guy and get my appointment scheduled, right? Because now I, I, I have an idea what it's going to be, and I'm certainly willing to pay that, um, and it's probably less than what it would cost to get my iPad fixed at the Apple Store because um, most things are cost less if you don't go to the Apple Store to do it um, in terms of repairs. All right, so, but overall, obviously, doing great. Um, 
getting ranked uh, you know, for a lot of terms, as we can see, got scheme and everything else. Um, I think this is a great um, uh, set of additional services that you, I'm not sure how to emphasize it more because there's a lot of uh, um, different information on the site, but this I think is a really good offer right here um, that they have. Um, that you know, with every repair, you get a three-month warranty, 100% money-back guarantee. Uh, you get any bacteria cleaning. You get a hardware stress test, operating system updates. You get you know a malware and spyware scan. You get free phone support following repair. Okay, that's I mean that's really awesome. Okay, um, that you can do that and you know give people really peace of mind that you know you take it in, it gets fixed, and it stays fixed. Um, and you only got to do this one time, right? Now, the other interesting thing um, that, that I think is also a good thing um, is that they have priority courier, yeah, priority courier collection and delivery, okay? Free as standard with all repairs. Um, uh, so that's for laptops. That excludes smartphones and tablet repairs. But, um, you know, you when we talk about targeting local municipalities, right? You know, depending upon how far you go, it's like being a pizza delivery guy, right? You know, you, you, you wanna you wanna hit your market area that you're willing to go pick up and, and repair stuff in. And it, so if there are places, you know, on the edge or near Cambridge or whatever that you would service, you definitely want to go get ranked for that and make it clear that, hey, if you're in XYZ city, you know, hey listen, we'll come, pick up your laptop, get it fixed bring it back to you at no charge. I mean, that's truly awesome. You know, you're running a business and someone will come pick it up, fix it and bring it back. You don't got to go stand in line at the store for like, you know, half an hour and fill up. I mean, you don't got to waste an enormous amount of time. This guy's solving all those problems for you. That's really great. And that and that's a feature that I would definitely push to uh, people um, in uh, the area. Uh, somebody said, by displaying price, you end up in a, in a price race to the cheapest. No, you don't, because price, you have price and, and value and services. But if you're going to, to, in order to get the opportunity to repair someone's iPad, if you're going to tell them that in order to get a quote, they've got to fill out a form, give you their phone number, okay, which, I mean, how many of you like to give your phone number to guys who are going to call and sell you stuff? All right look, you're not raising your hands and saying yes, okay? All right, I mean, so before you're going to, you know, you, 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 it's one of those things you have to test, right? I mean, because if I send you a quote that says it costs $100 to get this screen replaced, how many of you know if that's a good deal or not? You don't, right? The only way you're going to do that is you're going to do what anyway? You're going to go look it up and see if it seems like a fair deal or not, right? It's different if I walked in the door of his shop and and he and I and I show the guy the 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 iPad and he goes, "It's a hundred dollars to replace it," you know. Other than getting on my smartphone, right, and going, "Okay, let's see if a hundred dollars is a good deal or not." I don't know, but I'm going to make a decision on the spot. And maybe he charges more than some other guy, right? Okay, but if you're going to go make decisions based on price, you're going to do that anyway. And so you're going to get a quote from this guy and then you're going to go shop it around and see who's got the same or less price that you feel safe enough actually leaving your electronic item with, right? So they're price shopping you anyway on something they can price shop like that. They're going to do the same thing for laptop screen repair and everything else, right? It's not, a, it's not an impulse buy, okay? All right. So enough of enough of uh, this site. Unless anybody got any specific questions on this site, right? And somebody said Nancy said she'll pay more for value, like is offered in the site exactly because they include a lot of other stuff along with it, um, and and you know they they actually seem like a real legit company that's in business, not somebody who hire, hired a high school kid to stand at the kiosk in the mall and replace the screen on your lap on on your smartphone. You know, and you're just hoping that they don't break the smartphone while they're fixing it, right? Okay. Yeah, somebody said, you know, the courier service is great. And it is. Because um, when I break stuff, I'm not aware of anybody around me having a courier service. Because if they did, I'd be using it because I really don't want to drive and go stand in line and waste time. All right. 
So that was good, and, and good job, Brett, in getting ranked and everything else. Um, okay. So now we're going to pick on, I'm sorry, we're going to analyze. I, I don't want you guys to feel picked on when I start talking about these sites, but we're obviously trying to give you guys a lot of good feedback and information. So here we go. We have um, you know, a, a good uh, domain name here. Um, and yes, it has a hyphen in it, but you know, you're not going to get SEO expert London without a hyphen. So I, I think it's you know good domain name that I think somebody got recently. Um, but this is SEO expert hyphen London dot co dot UK, um, and so this is a fairly new site, I believe. Um, I'll tell you in a second as soon as I find on these dozen pages that I've got here. But I wanted to look at this because a lot of you are working to offer SEO services so we can talk about this. This is April. Okay, April. Good. Um, okay, good. Yeah, she has, she, this is a new site and, she, and it's not quite finished. So there, there might be some weird stuff on here and we'll there, do that. Okay. Um, all right. So let's take this URL. Um, and I'm going to guess that it, it doesn't rank, but that's okay, all right, because it's brand new, so there's a reason why it's not going to rank. Um, all right, let's go back here. There we go. All right, so we're going to do this. And we're going to assume, but I don't know. Let's see what, what we titled this page. SEO Expert London. Okay, so this should is an attempt to rank for SEO Expert London. And we're going to analyze that. Oh, actually, let's do this since I didn't hit go yet. Google. Hang on one second. I've got to close the go to our webinar widget. Hang on one second. We'll analyze this in the UK. All right. And let's jump back to here. All right. Good. So somebody said, needs a local phone number, missing a strong, compelling call to action. Okay. So again, because this is probably the theme that's gotten used, this is a WordPress block. Whoops. I'm going to guess. It probably is a WordPress. It has, it has, a, it has a blog feel to it. But anyway. Um, you know, as is typical, we get this really big image at the top, okay? And you've got to decide if you're going to have that image, what you're going to do with it, okay? It's visually, it's eye-catching, isn't it? But unless the image is doing the selling for you, is drawing people in, you need to get, you need, you know, a headline on that image that will grab everybody's attention so they'll pay attention and, and do what you want them to do, right? Okay. So um, we could obviously use a better headline um, than your website on the first uh, pages of Google, okay? Which is potentially what someone is looking for. You know, how to get ranked number one on Google, how to be at the top of the search engines, etc. Um, in the UK, um, you know, Google has an overwhelming market share, so really. Everything else is just, and also ran, I mean, it's, Google might be big in the U.S., but in the, in the U.K., they've got, the last time I looked, like 90% market share or something. So they're not searching Google. They're not pretty much searching. Um, but when we, when we look at this, um, you've, got to, you've got to, you know, pick something, right? Now, that can be, and, and, and you tend to draw in traffic from a, a lot of different, kinds of people and sources, so you, you'll, you'll have to, to, you know, when you decide what you want to target, there's obviously a lot of different um, ways to go about this. So you can do this from a, a perspective of, you know, um, you know, the fastest, easiest way to, uh, you know, rank at the top of Google to get free leads and free traffic from people searching for your products or services, right? So that's that's one potential headline, okay? And that focuses on on you know ranking in Google, right? 
Now, you can also, you know, and, and these, of course, can be different pages again, but this is our main website page. But you could also go after people that more generally uh, are looking for help marketing online. Okay? You know, like if we look, um, you know, down below, okay, three effective ways to solve your online business problems. Okay? All right? You know, build, optimize, and grow your website. Okay, improve your website's rankings. Okay, research your niche market. Okay, um, and you could go further with this, right? I mean, you could be you could be helping them with all kinds of online marketing because you'd be doing social media marketing. You could be doing video marketing, right? You could be you know generating leads off Twitter. You can be uh, you know finding leads, especially for for global businesses and uh, forums and blogs and you know, Q&A sites, right? There's a lot of different online promotions that you can do uh, for a business. So it, it just depends upon which way you want to approach it. Now, I, and, I, and I know that everyone's answer is going to be, I want to do everything, and I understand that. But people don't search for I want somebody to do everything. They search for a specific thing. So you'll have to kind of, you know, pick which uh, thing you want to do. But let's go see how, how this site works in the analysis. And the good news is we have a lot of green. Okay? So that's awesome. Okay? And overall we're at 75, and that is, you know, really good, especially for a site that's brand new. Okay? We, you know, we have the keyword in our title. Okay, we have um, the keyword in the meta tag. Okay, we have the keyword in the meta description. Okay, now we've done the keyword in a heading tag, so we could fix that and add that. Okay, the keyword density is in the optimal range. Okay, they have a site map. Okay, need to add schema, which you can do using Webfire. Okay, um, site's technical performance is acceptable, but could be better. Going to that, and there's only two images without alt tags, but, um, and so that could get fixed from that standpoint. Okay, so off page, right? Um, now, right now for this search term, interestingly enough, there are not a lot of people with backlinks. Um, now, I, without looking at the keywords, couldn't tell you what search terms people most commonly use to look for somebody to do SEO or search engine optimization in London. Um, so the fact that, you know, but, but you've got a specific term that you could do to, um, to work on, but there are, you know, already incoming links um, to the site, so that's really awesome um, because, you know, having, having incoming links for a brand new site is really a good start, okay? Um, obviously, getting more is good. Uh, you know, for this, DMOZ, Alexa ranking, none of that matters. Alexa is, um, you know, can give you an idea, you know, how how, much, how well your site compares to other sites in terms of traffic and give you some information about your site, but it's really not vital, especially for a locally targeted business, okay? Um, social, there's zero, but it's brand new, so that would be normal that social would be zero. Uh, again, doing local searches, um, uh, so you can see that SEO expert, SEO consultant, so, you know, good competing term, um, SEO services London, SEO agency London, uh, you can see the, these are really specific um, ways that people search. You can also see, interesting enough, that, that you know, London SEO services get searched uh, more than SEO services London. You know, when it when it's in terms of, you know, the the way that people type in, um, the very specific phrase. Now, you know, you can rank for both terms, but you know, if I had to decide which way I was going to set up a page for the term, I'd use the term London SEO services, just trying to target the one that people type in more, right? Okay, um, and so, but overall, I mean, it it's nicely done in terms of. Um, getting the on-page part uh, to work for this and, you know, just got to work more on the site itself. Um, out of curiosity, whoops, 
let's go back to google.co.uk. Hang on. There we go. SEO Expert London. I'm just, I was just curious to see if it, if this site happens to, whoops, hang on, this is, I'm not, I'm not helping when I'm bumping the wrong things in a keyboard, hang on, I'm just going to go to page two and just say, but, see, right here, see, right there, right? That's the site that we're just analyzing, already ranks, what is that, number 17, okay? So that's what doing a good initial job can do. I mean, you're, you're up against, obviously, people in the SEO business following what Webfire tells you to do. Um, I, I, I knew I could remember your name. Somewhere here, April, I think it was. Anyway, I have way too many pieces of paper. I gotta stop asking guys to send me all this information because you confuse me uh, when you do that. Um, but anyway, obviously uh, off to a great start from that standpoint. Now back to the actual site itself, okay? Because it's nice that you know you got a brand new site or a rank at number 17. Tom, oh yes, definitely. I mean, there's there's work to be done. You know, when you, you know, he said, what about building a schema? Absolutely. I mean, that's one of the things that still needs to get done for this site. Um, if we go back to your site, right? Um, you know, getting keyword in a heading tag and this one right here, adding a schema because okay, we got it there already. Um, definitely got to do that. Okay. Um, all right. Somebody asks, is it better separate the words in a domain with hyphens? No, it's not better. Um, it it's, would be better if you could have a, a domain name where you didn't have to hyphenate it, but you know, you can only buy what's available. So like, you know, if you wanted to buy weightloss.com, so does everybody else, you can't do that. But if you could buy weight-loss.com, you know, then that's better than than buying, you know, the grass is green and I might lose weight.com, okay? Um, so, um, can't do that. Um, all right, and then you and you'll also ask, is it essential to have a good keyword in a domain name, or can the page content offset the name? Well, and the answer is maybe. So let's talk about that. You know, the first thing that Google looks at is, you know, what is a domain about? Okay. Now, if you have a business name, right? You know, let's say you have, you know, Sean Casey Hardware, right? Obviously, I need to have a website that's Sean Casey Hardware. Well, it's Sean Casey Hardware is a bad, bad thing. Let's say I have a website like Forever 21. So Forever 21, I don't know if it's around the world, but in the U.S. is this billion-dollar clothing company that sells stuff to young women, okay, clothes to young women, right? Okay. By definition, forever21.com, you would have no idea what it means, right? I mean, Google from that domain name would have no idea what it means. The only way they can figure out what it means is from content on the website and incoming links to the site. Okay? And, and in that case, you're stuck with the store name. Okay? And yes, I realize it's a billion-dollar company. Stuck is a relative thing. Okay? But you can't change the store name. But if you're going to build a website to sell clothing to young women, you would consider certainly having, you know, having a website where you did a search and you said, hey, listen, what domains are available that relate to, you know, dresses, blouses, skirts, whatever, right, for young women, so that we could have, you know, you know, or even clothing, you know, and then we could have a website that's like, you know, coolclothing.com or something that that gives Google a clue. So you can uh, you can overcome or offset what's in the domain name, but if you if you gave people a running start and said, you know, girlsclothes.com versus forever21.com and you started from scratch, Google would immediately know what girlsclothes.com is about. They wouldn't know what forever21 is about, right? Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, 
so anyone wants to know how important is it to have SSL? SSL is a secure certificate for um, your site. The only reason you need it is if you're collecting sensitive information like credit card data. So if you're making sales directly on your website, then you need to have be secure so that the credit card data is uh, encrypted and secure. Um, so other than that, don't worry about it. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, Belinda asks, is buying multiple domain names and pointing them back to one site effective? Um, no, uh, only if you could, you, you have a reason to buy those because they're already linked somewhere else and getting traffic. Um, so but I'm going to answer this. I'm going to give you the long answer to this question, though. So let's say that you could use the expired domain tool that's inside of Webfire and you searched for SEO or online marketing related uh, domains uh, that where to find out what people might have let lapse. Because let's say somebody started SEO business and then they got all carried away and they built a Shopify store and they were doing really well and they dumped the SEO business, okay? Because people, you know, a lot of you try different stuff, right? So somebody does that. But they have a SEO domain that ranks. Well, so you might be like, well, hey, this thing ranks. You know, it's probably getting some traffic. Let me get, let me, let me grab that. Or more importantly, that site is listed on other websites, okay? Where somebody says, let's say somebody made a, a, a directory of SEO companies in London. And you could buy a domain name that's already on a list that somebody else is finding in Google or otherwise and is going down the list and they could click on a link and come to your website that you could have redirected to your main site right without doing any work. So yes, that can be effective. But buying a bunch of domains just because they have keywords in them and then just having to redirect to your site really has no effect at all because they're not individually getting traffic if they're just brand new and have no content. However, what is massively effective, okay? Um, let's just jump off this because it's very easy to explain over here. So we come back and the name of this company is Cambridge Laptop Repair, right? Um, at least presumably that's the name because that's what's in the logo. Okay? And they're in Cambridge, so that all fits. But if you wanted to rank for um, something else, and let's be, let's let's go be real specific. Hang on. Do, 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 do. All right, so let's go to Cambridge on Google Maps. Come on, go. All right. And in Cambridge, if we go out, hang on a second. I've got to get the widget out of my way. So let's back up so we could find something that looks like a relatively big area. I'm, trying to, I'm just trying to get something. That, there, of course, won't be anything because I'm trying to be really efficient. Okay, but all right, so here we have Milton. Okay, so we've got Milton. People in Milton, their laptops break, their iPads break. You know, if we created MiltonLaptopRepair.com, okay, um, you know, would we find it pretty easy probably to rank for Milton, the term Milton Laptop Repair, and we could literally snag all the content that we have on Cambridge Laptop Repair. See, it's not even there. It's probably available, right? And we could probably literally... Um, I just went to my e to enom just because I'm just really curious now. MiltonLaptopRepair.com. Great, my name is still available. Okay, so I could buy MiltonLaptopRepair.com. I could post up, you know, similar content to what's on Cambridge, except every time I put in Cambridge, I put in Milton. Okay. I mean, you could be more creative than that, but even if you just did that, do you think that your odds of ranking for Milton Laptop Repair are incredibly awesome? How many people think you could really kick ass with that? Absolutely, right? Okay. So you want more business. One of the easiest ways to get it as a local business is go optimize for 
local areas that, that have a bunch of people because, you know, the guy that lives in Milton, he wants to get his stuff fixed in Milton or he wants to buy a lawnmower in Milton or whatever. I don't know how many people live in Milton. doesn't matter. But, I mean, the guy that lives in Milton isn't thinking, wow, I can't wait to get up tomorrow morning and drive through traffic into downtown Cambridge, right? Okay. But, hey, if you've got a courier service, you can go pick up his laptop, right, and do a bunch of business with the guy in Milton. And maybe you're way more credible than the back of an automobile repair shop laptop repair guy in Milton, right? You could go get a ton of business, okay? And so if you really want to go rank, what you want to do is create more domains that are related to that, okay, and able to do that, all right? Tom, if they're not putting Milton in their search, it doesn't matter so much because people, you know, Part of what Google's going to do is pull up local results, right? So let's see how well this works now that I said this. Hang on. Let me go to, let me go to Google where I live and search laptop repair. Okay. And number one, lots of people will search locally. Okay. So I have ads, I have ads, I have ads, I have ads. Forget all the ads. You know, what do I get? Oh, well, look, I get a map of people around me. Okay, and then I get Yelp, which is going to be a, um, um, sorry, a, a general directory listing. But see, these guys are local because they're Metro Atlanta. Uh, this is this is you know somebody who's got a a, gener a general site. Apex Computer is presumably local. Duluth Computer, Mac Top Repair, um, you know. Uh, you break iFix, which is a franchise company here in the States that fixes uh, like laptops and smartphones and stuff like that. Um, Micro Center, which is a big uh, computer store, right? But like this guy here, okay, he's my local guy, supposedly. Let's find out if he really is or not. Say Computer 5, Cell Phone Repair Atlanta, Computer Repair Atlanta, right? Okay. All right. So, you know, Service areas. See, they, they've they've listed out all the cities around here. Um, they don't actually have a page for Duluth because it's further out than some of these. Some of the, they only have a couple pages that link. So I would have done I would have done at least individual pages. I'd have a page that says Duluth Computer Repair. See how they have like Atlanta Atlanta Computer Repair. You know, you really want to rank better now. The truth is they're, they're beating the other guys, but this is a local search because Google, Google's going to pull local data for me because I'm in Duluth. If I search Duluth, Georgia, you know, forgetting the ads, the map is pretty much the same, right? But notice now I have Thumbtack, which was like number four before. Now it's number one. Yelp is number two. You break I fix is there. Micro Center, right? See how they're now ranking higher than this guy here? Because this guy here isn't as optimized for Duluth. Okay. You know, the results change if you optimize for that. But either way, you can rank for it, but you're going to rank better, right? And it might be funny, but there's like 100,000 people that live in Duluth or whatever, so we got a whole lot of people, okay? Um, all right, so somebody asked, but if I want to rank for SEO London and my keyword titles were Website SEO London, no, no, it's not bad and in, in, in the exact phrase is in there, but, you're, but you... You don't want to live and die on one web page. Okay? Yeah, I mean, coming back to this site because it's it's well done. It because I we've been on it so much. But you know, there's a home page. The home page only ranks for so much, right? But these individual pages can rank, all right, um, for different things. Like, okay, so computer virus removal, Cambridge, right? So this is a, obviously not the main domain page or anything else, but if I go search this term, okay, whoops, right, I'm, this, this page is going to rank. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got, I got to make sure I get to Google UK or it's not going to work the same. As soon as I get on a map, here we go. All right, you can see that this is going to rank for something. Can't tell you it's going to rank number one, but I wouldn't be surprised, right? So see, in this case, he doesn't rank number one. Let's see where he does rank. So, so he he ranks number three, uh, number four. No, but he ranks three and four for that in Cambridge. Okay. 
these two these two listings right here. All right. Now it is in his main site. Okay, you know this this is ranking under services. Okay, so that's his virus removal page and that's his PC repair page. Um, so for whatever reason, that particular page that we were just on doesn't actually rank, and I don't know why. But hey, who knows? Not you know Google Google does what it wants to do, but you can see how having these individual pages for specific terms helps him to rank for those terms, which is key because this is the way that people actually search. Um, so for instance, you could use subdomains with different cities. Doesn't matter if you use subdomains or you use folders. You know, like this is a folder slash services is a full is the folder. Um, as much as if you get the keywords on the page, and and uh, you know overnight. Like if you own Cambridge Laptop Repair, you're not going to create like 500 new pages and sites overnight. I mean, that's not going to happen. But you want to keep building because the more you build, the more you rank, the the more business you get, the more you build on your success, right? Okay. Um, and and so you know one of the things that you want to look at, you know, even um, you know, so so London, big place, right? What 12 million people live in London a gazillion businesses and everything else when you talk about ranking this site you know in London for SEO expert you know if we search SEO come here SEO expert London okay and we go to hang on Google co dot UK and we search SEO expert Knightsbridge. We're going to get different results, probably. Okay. So see how some of these guys. So you notice the page: freelance SEO Knightsbridge, SEO specialist jobs in Knightsbridge, SEO specialist in Knightsbridge. Okay. Um, Knightsbridge Park real estate and marketing. Okay. But not a lot of guys are doing this because they're getting SEO executive jobs are coming up, right? But some people have decided to target it. Okay, over here, okay, notice that you know this is the first listing for London, second listing, third listing. This guy here, okay, or woman, sorry, I don't know which it is, but that person, okay, that's number four for London is number one for Knightsbridge, right? Okay. So see how it changes depending upon what you put in. London's a big place, so you, you can actually target areas within the cities for uh, you know the city of London itself, because you know even in one area of the city there is a lot of business. And again, all well, depends upon what your market is and what your target is and what you're looking at. Let me come over and just finish looking at this site real quick. Um, so we talked about how we could use a better headline. We could use things. Um, one of, one of the glaring things that's missing here is this, okay? Right up here, it's not obvious what I want someone to do. If I want to get them on a list, I want to offer them a free report, a free site analysis, a free video, a free something, anything to get them on a list, okay? Um, you know, my contact button is here. It's pretty subtle, okay? Um, you don't want to be that subtle. Have somebody be like, "Wow, I'm really looking for help," and, and they got to look. Okay, now we can scroll down the page and find out that um, you know we can fill this out. You know, my name, my email, my SEO problem is okay. Um, chances are they don't actually know what their problem is. If you're going to make a form like this, I'd, I'd give them, you know, you know, uh, leading choices like, you know, um, you know, my primary objective is. You know, I want to get more customers from the internet. I want to rank better on the internet. I want to get more leads. I want my phone to ring more. I mean, things that people would actually, you know, necessarily think about and want, right? Okay. Um, so there, that's where you would uh, you'd want to do that. But you you want to make it easy for people to get you. You, I would also have my phone number because you don't want people to be like, well, I I got to email these people and wait. Because for, for if there's somebody who's like, man, you're like, I'm ready to rock. I want to talk to somebody. I'm ready to go now. You know, let's say someone just dropped in the search engine. They're like, want to answer. They're not going to want to fill out a form and be like, okay, seriously, I got to wait for you. Um, you know, and this is a, st a standard contact page um, that's in here that you, you can definitely improve. Because, I, and I, I know this is new, so I'm being brutal. So you get it right. 
um, from the beginning. Okay, so are the services website ranking, research analysis service need SEO help? Okay, um, and so as you go along, you want to add to these services, like the laptop repair guy, right? We want pages for services in specific areas so that we can get people um, who are looking for specific help with whatever it is they're looking for, right? So, but great start, and you know, hey, right off the bat term you optimize for number 17 in Google UK for London which is you know one of the largest cities in the world um, awesome start it's only gonna you're only gonna go and be able to improve uh, the results from there okay so uh, now what I'm gonna do really really quick and I know if this is gonna generate like a million questions but I'm gonna do this really quick is there's a whole bunch of other websites that people had submitted and I've got them all open in tabs uh, if they got here sometime before, an hour or so before we started. And I'm going to go just quickly scroll through them and make some quick comments, and then we're going to wrap up. Hey, while I'm doing that, let's, let's multitask because we're already running long. Um, we'll, we're going to do Q&A, but... We're only going to get Q and A so long, um, and, and I'll come back to that in a minute. But um, first of all, if you're not a member of Webfire and you're like, "Wow, this is really interesting. What the heck are you guys doing?" You can go to getwebfire.com forward slash wf and see a demo of the software and everything else. Because I'm not here to say anything, but if you want to see more and join, you're welcome to. Um, and um, if you're not a member of the Facebook group, go join. Uh, at getwebfire.com forward slash FB group. Okay. More importantly, we'd love to get your feedback on our trainings, particularly the training today. Um, if you guys post up feedback in the Facebook group, we'll randomly draw somebody to be the winner of $100 that we'll send you via PayPal uh, as fast as you can get us your PayPal email address. Uh, so go that, and we'll do that, and uh, give you uh, cash money or PayPal money anyway. All right, so while you guys are going and posting awesome things, all right, so this is uh, naturalessentials.uk. Obviously, just a, a store site, okay? And again, like all websites, as you can see, you've you got to pick something at the top of the page that you want to get somebody's attention for. You know, showing a lot of different products, and I don't know how people come into the site, so I can't tell you that it's good or bad the way that these are. I mean, just, I don't know if this site does a you know, million dollars a year or is brand new. I can't, I, so I can't tell you that. Um, but it's a store, and there's only so much you can do with a store because people expect to see store stuff on stores, right? Okay. Um, where you can make a difference here is in product descriptions when you get into product descriptions. But over here, the help guide and news. Let's say here. Okay. So this blog, which hasn't been updated in a while, so you ought to go back to posting on the blog, but, but conceptually is a good idea, right? Being able to post up here, um, you know, top 10 natural antibiotics, uh, Ebola virus, um, cough, you know, things that people are searching for, okay? Um, you could work on those titles, though, I mean, because, you, you, you know, scientifically, you'd write a paper called Cough, Causes, Issues, and Treatments, but people don't search for cough causes issue and treatment, okay? They search for, you know, I keep coughing and I want to stop, make it stop, right? I mean, you got to think of the phrases that people actually use for that. But as you do that, then you can pre-sell, and presumably this does say, you know, if you want to, if you want to cut down on your cough, these are the things that you could do. Um, well, okay. So if you're going to make these articles so people can... Um, come and get really cool information from you, then you should say, oh, listen, if you're having a lot of, uh, you know, respiratory problems, then we recommend, you know, this, this supplement and that supplement that can help you out, right? And then lead them back into your store because you're, you're drawn in traffic that way, okay? Um, this is called internetmarketingideas.net. Um, so this is just looking at uh, internet marketing ideas. This is a brand new website. I literally just opened all these up, so... Um, this is, this is a brand new website, so there's not much here in terms of content there. Um, but uh, this person is blogging and posting in, in, in their blog uh, and getting articles up, which is really good. Um,
But um, if you're going to do all that, um, you need to get someone to fix your um, uh, homepage because you can get these um, those articles to pop on your homepage and your, your site will um, look much better when people show up and this continue reading button doesn't work. But just go to um, um, but go to Fiverr.com. Somebody can fix that for you for five bucks. Okay, this is myviraldownlines.com. Um, this site is not going to rank really well, probably because it's a sales page. Okay, to to you know be able to build downlines for uh, different uh, multi-level programs and different things like that. Um, and so there's there's just you know a whole bunch of different uh, different stuff here. Um, I, I don't know how effective it is when someone lands on it. Uh, in terms of getting people to do that, um, but it's in, inviting people to join for free, which is great. But this page is not going to rank. Um, okay, this is it, this looks like it's an image, but it's actually text, which is great. But it's not going to rank because it's got it doesn't have content. So you need to add content pages that you can refer back to here in terms of uh, being able to actually rank the website itself. Um, so, feminine wisdom, wank of the strength and beauty within. Um, let's see what we're doing here. We look like a store, but I'm not sure if we are. Um, but, um, okay, so we have workshops, okay, that, that are offered. All right. Again, same concept. Here we go. We land on this page. What do we want somebody to do? Okay. Just, if you answer that question and you tell them what they, they should be doing, then we can do that. Okay? And so what you want to do is you want to take people as they come in and you want them to do something. Because it's a beautiful site, okay, but I'm not sure what to do. I could book a discovery session, but I don't know what I don't know what a discovery session is, right? And I could join the feminine wisdom tribe, but I don't know what that is. Okay, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, and I don't know, and I'm going to be really critical, and I don't know if a tribe means I need to be an Indian or not, because in America we have a lot of American Indian tribes, right? Okay, but on the other hand, you have, I can get a free audio, tips to nourish your mind, body, and spirit, and inspire you to take action. Okay, so that's all good, all right, because you're trying to, to get somebody in your list and everything else, but you, you just need to work on that call to action and making sure everybody sees it and knows what to do, all right? Um, you know, and, and you know the 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 big logo, you know, awaken the strength of beauty within is great, but you, but you need some kind of headline, just something that 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 ties this all together, okay? And and I know this is like three billion people have websites that say hello and welcome, but it doesn't empower anybody who visits the website to know what they should be doing next, okay? So you need to come up with some kind of headline that then leads people down through the rest of it um, and then gets them to want to get on your list and, and let you follow up with them. Uh, skincare site. Okay. Um, I'm, someone posted up, um, so they have skincare with food, and they posted up a really great comment. They had this site before they became a member, and they posted up um, a, a perfect a perfect comment, which is this. I used the keyword search tool and discovered no one actually searches skincare with food. Okay, um, and this is super important because a lot of times you guys come up with great ideas, great products, or find great things, and you want to sell them. But but you gotta give them to people the way in which people look for them. Okay, so if no one searches for skincare with food, then it doesn't mean anything to anyone yet. You know, you could be the first person with this great trend like. Obviously, what goes in our bodies comes out in our skin, okay? But skincare with food is not a ter ter term that somebody does. Um, she found uh, another search term that was being searched for, had no competition. She actually bought the domain name, which is awesome, um, and wants to know, should um, she rework the current page? Should she, should she redo the whole thing? Um, all right, so she has a... A YouTube channel with uh, based on skincare with food that has nearly a hundred thousand views. So um, the answer to whether or not I would dump this domain is I would not. Not if you've already got a hundred thousand views. That's awesome. Um, what you want to do 
is then um, is you know keep this branding, which is great, but you then want to add in pages or even you know build out that other that other site, depending upon how much traffic there is with blogs, where you can um, get people uh, to to find your site in different ways. But you could you know build out more pages related to the search terms that people are actually using and then bring them into what you're doing. The other thing is because you have the YouTube channel, we talk a lot about like finding people having conversations, right? So presumably you're solving people's problems with their skin, right? I guarantee you that if you were to go look and, and use the real-time lead finder, for example, that there's thousands of people every day that are posting up, I have this skin problem and I can't figure out how to fix it. Okay. Now, obviously, sometimes they have some, you know, disease issue that you know would require medication. But a lot of times, it could be something that you can help them with. Like, hey, you know, I found that people that do this break out with this kind of stuff, right? And you can just be referring them to your YouTube channel, okay? Which is a very soft invitation to then learn more about you, what you can offer, and then bring people to your site. Um, you know, and then when you come here, like people could go to products so they could buy stuff, okay? Um, and and you know different natural things, okay. Um, but again, on here, the question is: other than maybe clicking on the product link, right? What do people, you know, what is it I want people to do? Oh, look, this thing popped up, which is great. Should, should have had that pop up earlier to try to get some somebody on the on the list. You can work on your call to action and probably make it a little bit stronger. I mean, natural skincare tips are, I mean, it's a generically good thing. But it's like, you know, something like, you know, how to how to how to have the skin of a twenty year old, you know, simply simply by understanding how what you eat affects your skin or something. That's really bad. But how to have a skin of a twenty year old is good. Um, you know, your free ebook download uh, button here. Okay, it's not bad. But first of all, the image has nothing to do with the free ebook download. But you got to go looking for this, right? And again. You have stuff competing. Should I click here? Should I click here? And and you know if you keep experimenting, you'll find that you can um, be able to do more with what you have here. But but you're off to an awesome start, obviously, and and using the tools to find uh, more information for everything. Um, Healthy.co.nz. Um, uh, generally speaking, obviously uh, a store that recommends uh, a lot of different products and things. And, and again. Always store home pages. There's only so much you can do with them because people that land on store pages expect to see lots and lots of products. Okay, um, this is uh, to a certain extent to me a really cluttered page because there's a there's like I can't figure out what to look at first. Okay, now one thing that does catch my eye, which is great, you know, 25% off the whole range of Doctors Best in November. Um, so that's awesome, and, and if I click, presumably I would go there. I, I just don't want to leave the page right now, um, okay? Um, but in and of itself, you're, you're not going to rank this home page other than probably for, for the, the company name, perhaps. But again, if we, if we look at, you know, Oris Root Powder, all right. Whoops. Okay, here's my here's my image name. I was really curious if you, see that that doesn't come up with a with a product name because somebody might be searching for that product. So we want to try to rank for that product if we could if it's a really common product. I, I don't know what it is, so I couldn't tell you that. Um, and um, so I'm I'm not the guy to to comment on that. But when we come over here to the healthy blog, okay, um, help to give up smoking. See, this is this is an awesome. Uh, kind of article to have, all right, and down below, natural options to give up smoke, see how it goes through, and then we get down to the Honey Rose Stop Smoking Plan, see, so here's how um, the Honey Rose Stop Smoking Plan works, and somewhere, you're going to have a link so I can buy this, but not to be funny, you, you, you need to end the concept with, this is really awesome, Here's how to go buy it because I don't see the link to go buy it. It's probably on the site. Okay, um, this quit smoke kit is on the site. Okay, and then you know here's another article on increasing bone density, right? Okay, and so on. And so 
these are all great and those pages are going to have a way better chance of ranking for the specific information that's going to then lead someone to buy the supplements um, or herbs or, or whatever it is that you're selling that relate to that. All right, bags for women. Okay, um, finding gorgeous bags for women that you too can afford. Um, so we're finding bags for women. I love their bags. Okay, and we're being we're being an affiliate, I think. So we have content in here. We have lots of uh, obviously Amazon ads over here, and Google AdSense ads. Uh, are you addicted to ladies' handbags? No, I'm not. Um, okay, so once again, obviously the, the the Gucci bag is awesome, but does take over the entire top of the page. Um, and, and draws way more attention than um, the actual blog article. Okay? I'm guessing that you're being, just being an affiliate for this and you want to rank the articles, um, and I don't know uh, about the terms, but um, you know, in terms of promoting an article like, are you addicted to ladies' handbags, okay? um, you know, that kind of, that kind of question, question phrasing is great, because if, if somebody was sharing that in social media, right, you know, how, how many how many people reading this uh, are addicted to ladies' handbags? You'd get a whole lot of women who would say, "Yes, that's me," right? Okay. And then to go on to tell them how you know they could get you know cool handbags that they can afford that would be great. Um, all right, going on. It's the hundred K mall. All right. This again has a really big graphic at the top. That that takes over the whole page, right? And and, and you probably know by now we're wasting all the all the website real estate um, with that. Um, this is a store with lots of pet products and 3D lamps and everything else. I'm gonna, I'm guessing that well, I don't know if we're a Shopify store or not, but same kind of a thing. So again, you know, our the idea behind this is going to be, you know, first of all. You know, chain, get this headline to be, you know, where you can find find if nothing else, you know, the coolest uh, pet related products um, at discount prices or or something. Um, with that, uh, again, hard to rank actual store websites. It's the content pages like blogs or a separate site that feeds into this that you're going to rank better. Um, but you can prove the top of that. We got a few more to go. If you haven't posted up in the Facebook group, do that. Okay, this is. Um, Guessing this is Rafiki Goods. Uh, this is actually a, a, my sh a Shopify store, um, and um, you can see clearly that you know in this layout that the pretty colorful pictures are awesome, but they do take over the entire page uh, when it comes to the top of the screen. Um, if we go down, you know we can see the collections of different things uh, and, and all the featured products that someone would be looking for to do this stuff. But um, you know, I would I would alter this page to at least some of it got, they get to the home page to be able to um, uh, see more options of what to click on more readily. Uh, obviously, if we go into the store, we'll we'll see the standard store stuff, um, and then um, but we have this blog now. Blog is the awesome idea, right? And and. I can already tell you that I that I love some of these titles of things that are getting posted here, right? Right? Like how to embroider quilts, types of embroidery stitches used for floral embroidery, how to embroider a name. I don't know anything at all about embroidery, right? But can you imagine that these are exactly the kind of phrases that someone would be searching, right? Because people go in, oh, I want to know how to embroider a name. Oh look, here's an article on how to embroider a name. Bam. Hey, okay. I got them on my website. I can then get them over to Hey, and you know, to, to refer them to the products and services that you can do that um, for anything. Somebody said some of these sites have a lot of text, some of them don't. What's the right balance? The right balance, uh, to a large extent, depends upon what your audience is. One of the things you can do is look at the most successful companies um, in the world, and you know, what do they have on their home pages? Um, and, and so I'll give you two quick glimpses into something, right? So if I go to Google, and that's pretty basic, right? 
if I go to Yahoo, and okay, completely different, right? Okay, much more a portal. Man, and they got stuff every, I can go look in the categories, I can learn about what the shenanigans Mr. Trump might be up to, I can go into the training now category, I can see the, the weather, um, someday, someday the IP people will figure out I don't live in Roswell, but, um, and then I can see all these articles down here, a lot of different stuff to, to click on. So which is better? Google would tell you their page is better because they're a search engine. That's what they do. Yahoo would tell you this page is better. You know, and they get thousands of visitors every minute, so this is highly optimized for exactly what their business is. Okay? Um, and so nothing is better. What's better is what works. Um, all right. How to quickly and easily create a passive online income working from the comfort of your home, even if you're starting from scratch. Okay, good headline. All right? That would be funny. But if you want somebody to opt in, you literally need to tell them and take the first step, get a free report, watch the free video, some, some reason why they should then uh, fill out that form um, next. Okay? Um, by the time you reach the end of this page, you'll have access to blah, 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 blah. Um, okay. Ask you a few questions. Okay. All right. So, so this is much more of a sales page. Now, and again, Sales pages, hard to rank because they're by definition not built to be ranked, they're built to be sales pages. Okay? Um, but, but do notice at the top of this page how this big image takes over the page, but in this case, because of what he put on top of it, it focuses the eye on the headline, right? I mean, you don't, you're not looking down the page, you're like reading the headline because everything focused on the headline, which is a great job. Now we have a focus for the page, which is where we want them to be. All we got to do is get them to to go opt in and do that. You know, to rank, you got to go get more stuff. Um, AB Commercial Funding Solutions, I think we looked at this before maybe, or maybe I just remember this from somewhere along the line. Um, uh, and obviously, a business funding site, okay? Um, nothing here that, that uh, would cause you to opt in and become a lead. Uh, no, no offer to, you know, how to determine the very best way to do whatever for your business or you know, how to determine if this is for you. Um, they offer every different kind of funding programs. Um, these individual pages are presumably optimized to rank for you know, SBA loans or account receivable financing and different kinds of financing that people would um, have, op have uh, access to, um, which would be really good if they are. Um, and then the other thing is, depending upon where this site is, which presumably is in the U.S., but I don't know that, um, is, you know, if you get a lot of traffic from, well, I, and again, the, the phone number is here, but I've on the contact this form I put it at the top. Um, but I would uh, certainly have a reason for people to get on a list and, and get comfortable with you. When it comes to money, obviously everybody's all skittish about talking about their business and getting money and everything else. Um, somebody submitted this blackstone42.com and there was nothing there, but I wanted you to know I actually looked and there's nothing there. All right, this is um, a crazy website that's got about four million different things on it. Um, so I can get everything for $500 guaranteed today to dive with sharks. Um, I'll take the $500. I really don't want to dive with sharks. You shall see that video on, on Facebook where you see everything, like where the shark got in the shark cage with the diver. See, that's enough to just tell me not to do that. All right, so see all this stuff on this page? You don't even know where to start. If you're going to have a page with this much stuff, you're going to confuse everybody, okay? Um, you got you got to pick something to be the focus of whatever it is that you're trying to get people to, um, to buy to opt in for, to follow through on. And then again, as we talked about, individual pages to uh, get you ranked for um, individual keywords. Um, the Carrot Bars Gold Review. Um, so if somebody was searching for Carrot Bars Gold Review, uh, apparently Carrot Bars is, a, is some kind of a program where I can get gold, um, then, that's a, then that's a great title because people search for reviews of different things. Um, and um, this, this, you know, it does a, a, apparently a, a good job of explaining what carrot bars is all about. Other than that, this page is not going to rank for anything that's not specific to that. So if you want to draw in 
uh, people that are interested in investing, investing in gold, investing gold and silver, all that kind of stuff, then, then you, need to, you need to broaden the website and, and get into more stuff. But for what it is, it's very straightforward that this is what uh, a review is, uh, the review is for, but whether or not it, it ranks in that term, I don't know. Hardware Ireland, say it with me, they sell hardware in Ireland. Um, so uh, this, again, is a store site. So it's going to have store stuff and stuff that's on, you know, on offer on the top of the page and, and different things, you know, about us, services, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm just reading down the bottom. So we're a Dublin-based online hardware store. Okay, good. So, so it's all online based. That's what I wanted to find out, or if we we had a store. Um, but one of the things that that you could do um, in trying to up traffic to this is um, be finding big categories of of things that are helpful do-it-yourself tips. If you want to draw in more traffic, other than ranking, if someone's searching for a rechargeable LED work light or or that kind of stuff, is um, helping people to to learn how to do stuff, um, like we're talking about with, with and it doesn't even necessarily have to be the video, uh, videos like YouTube videos, but even uh, how-to articles with, with, you know, pictures, you can get pe people to create and write stuff fairly inexpensively, but those are things that, again, you know, before the guy buys a chainsaw, how many people actually look up and are like, you know, how to use a chainsaw, how to use a chainsaw to cut a log, how to use a chainsaw to cut down a tree, how to use a chainsaw to trim a tree, right? All those kind of things you could have that you know people will find, and you only got to create this content once. But most people won't ever create it, much less uh, be able to feed people over. Um, PleasingFragrances.com, um, top quality fragrances, fragrances at prices you can afford. Um, you know that that you know again taking over a lot of space with that, but at least there's a big headline up there to go with it. Um, you know, a price you can afford. You know, I'd probably end that with you know uh, something along the lines of you know you know sa save you know 27 to 38 percent or whatever your your numbers would be, um, because afford is a relative term, but discounts are are always discounts. Okay? Uh, but like all the stores as we talked about, you're you're not going to rank for the store unless you've got content to rank for. And that's the last one of all those many sites that people uh, put in there. All right. And somebody said that somebody's making lots and lots of extra posts on Facebook to try to game the system, so we'll try to avoid them doing that. But please only make one post. It's only $100. We appreciate your enthusiasm, but let's try to, to be fair. We'll have to find some other way to randomly avoid somebody doing that. Okay, so let's go uh, to the Facebook page um, and try to find it in all of these 8 million tabs that I have. Look, hang on, it defaulted open in the wrong window. Okay. All right, let's see how many people we got in here. All right, we got 44 comments. Welcome, Jeff, his first time on here. So you all, so, so we got to train you guys. So in the future, it makes it much easier on us counting and sorting. If you're uh, posting underneath the actual image, and I didn't tell you to do that, so I appreciate you guys posting up nice stuff along the way. Oh, look, and here's the Dublin guy. All right, all right. Um, Good, Hugh, you must be the guy with the hardware store. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six people underneath. Well, and I have no idea how to say your name. Seven down there, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I got ten more people down below and more comments coming in here. All right, we're going to let that go for a second. I'm going to, I'm going to get lost up here on all these things. Let's go to random. .org, if I remember right. Yes, we can generate random numbers. All right. We're up to 50 comments. Okay, I'm going to refresh the page one last time. 
somebody wants to join the group. I told you guys, telling the guys to join the group for an hour now. All right. 51 comments, 10 more down below. That's 61. And the random page is here. This is what happens when you have this many tabs open. 61. Generate. And the winner is 30. Oh, yeah. See, now when Brian gets this, he gets like number three. So he doesn't have to count very far. All right. So we're counting 30 from the top. This is going to be some work here. All right, few comments. All right, here we go. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, Nelson is thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Did I count them right? Anybody gonna tell me I counted them wrong? Otherwise, Yaya is gonna be the big winner here. All right. So congratulations. You're a big winner. I know you've been with us for a long time. And and I thought that, and, and Sharon just posted up the second time that he won. Completely um, random. Because, okay, good, somebody somebody counted it. Good, I, I, I'd hate to count wrong. It's hard enough for me to remember how to count to 30. All right, so congratulations, you big winner. All right, um, anybody have any questions uh, before we wrap up that I can answer? I know we, we went long today trying to answer all this stuff. Um, and help you guys out along the way. Um, oh, Tom, I, I didn't actually ever see that question, so I will answer that question. Uh, Tom was asking, at was uh, how do you use the article vault and the marketing articles in your business? Um, number one, the, the all those marketing articles you can use that they're inside the vault and webfire. Um, you, everybody has access to them, so they're not unique to you. Um, you could use them, first of all, to make videos using the video maker that's inside of WebFire. You can use them as content that you can rewrite. Uh, you could use them on a website uh, simply to add additional content if you just wanted to, to you know, get some filler in there. Uh, but you're free to use them however you want to use them. Um, they're, they're yours to do with as you will. Uh, Larry asked, do we cover different topics each week? Yes, every single week we, cover, we, we do... Uh, Shouldn't say every week it's different, but yes. I mean, last time we probably did like website reviews like this was maybe back in June or July. So we vary content between doing live stuff, analysis, reviews, uh, sometimes step-by-step -step training uh, content. Uh, it really varies a lot uh, depending upon what we've you know hearing from people, or if we added a new uh, tool to WebFire, or we found a new technique that'd be awesome uh, to use. Then we'll talk about that. Uh, so it does vary a lot, and you can um, see all the prior WebFire uh, webinars inside of the members area. Um, also, for ones where we do trainings, you get the PDF files, so uh, be sure to look for those. You don't have to write down notes on everything um, that you don't want to where you can take the PDFs and, and either look at them or even print them out and follow along. Now, obviously, we do live analysis like this. We don't have that, but for the other ones, we definitely do. Uh, Jason, you're welcome. Harmesh, what do you mean? What, I don't know what a original PLR opt-in page would be. You, you're you're asking me if it's the same exact text as somebody else uses on an opt-in page, and you actually mean like an opt-in page where it's just there, like join my list get my free report, that kind of thing is an opt-in page. Um, oh, you've changed the text and images. Well, then that's fine. That's You're not going to get penalized for that. But unless you have a lot of text on a page, then you're, you know, like an opt-in page, it's just a very short squeeze page. It's generally not going to rank anyway, simply because there's there's not enough on it to, to rank it. Oh, okay, if I have a lot of text and images, well, then you're, then you're going to be fine, then if it's unique. Uh, Pam says... I'm a newbie and I'm lost and confused. Help. Well, 
if you just if this is the first thing you saw on Webfire because you just joined, then this is like drinking out of a fire hose. You kind of jumped in in the middle. Um, but inside of Webfire, um, you want to start with the um, uh, there's some like fast start videos. Number one, that's a place to start, um, and we have uh, several videos that are kind of like basic overviews of what to do first. Um, and uh, two other suggestions. One is um, there is the um, uh, the overview uh, that you can go through Webfire, where you can just go through and answer questions and answer answer questions, and it will walk you through. Do you have a website? Yes, no. Do you want to make one? And walk you through those kind of things. But the other thing you have access to is um, our Traffic Secrets course, and that will also walk you through a, a lot of the basics and kind of short, like seven eight minute videos of you know, things you can consume and kind of get a feeling for all of this, uh, what you want to do. Um, Daniel, the, the, the best way to get people to a sales page, he asks, um, the very best way, grab them by the ear, just drag them over. Um, obviously hard to do online. So this is like a trick question. Um, number one in terms of getting to a sales page is don't expect the sales page itself to rank in Google because you don't write it to rank, you write it to sell, right? If you get search engine traffic, that's just a bonus. What you want to do is, um, well, it's probably a better question because I can answer this better. Daniel, what are you selling? Because that'll help me target my answer a lot better. And Kasali, email support and tell them exactly what you're having an issue with the, um, with the software not connecting, because they can, they'll help you fix that, okay? There you go, she just posted up the support link. Daniel, a membership site for what? Oh, for building a downline, okay. So what you wanna do is two things. One is, um, they're gonna be people who are online, forums, blogs, Q&A sites, asking how to build a downline, how to, get, how to generate leads, how to get people to um, visit their website, um, you know, and, and build their business that, you know, that the downlines relate to. Um, so you could be going to those people and and no, not sending them directly to a sales page, but sending them to um, a report or a video, you know, like the top seven ways uh, to build a downline um, that you can do in your spare time for pennies a day, something like that, right? In, in, in which you then would give them seven ways and lead into telling them to come over to your me to your member site uh, page, right? Um, but you would you, you know pre-sell your member your your membership that way, but be able to give away that uh, information for people. Okay. Um, then the other thing you want to do so that's going out and finding people, right? Two ways to get people to your website: you go find people, people find you. People are not going to find your sales page but they can find related content pages on your site or on your blog. So you can build out content pages related to, you know, how to build a downline, best ways to build a downline, whatever, use the keyword tool to find the search terms that people use related to that. But if you create content that you can then rank related to those things, like we, we saw with the laptop repair page, right? You know, that gentleman, you know, built the site, got laptop related pages, laptop repair related pages, that now rank in Google, right? You're gonna do the exact same thing so that people can find you when they're searching for how to build a downline, how to build a downline 2017, best way to build a downline, how to build a downline for free, right? Those people are all looking for answers. So you can provide the answer in the form of an article that leads into, and listen, the best way to do this is go get my stuff, okay? All right. I think that's the end of questions. We're almost at two hours. Y'all are troopers for still being here. Like 90% of you are still here. You have amazing fortitude. All right. So, guys are awesome. Go take action. Um, we will have this recording posted up so you can go through it at your leisure. Um, I know especially if I talked about any of your websites at the end, I, I talk so fast you could probably barely understand me. You can slow me down in the replay uh, and be able to uh, get all that. But you guys have a, a lot of different uh, ways to do all that and uh, be able to do that. And 
make things happen. So uh, appreciate everybody here being members, being part of the, the group, and uh, we'll be back next week with some awesome stuff and um, ready to roll. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.